let's try to understand let's try to understand this concept of overlap in a typical situation in this question uh, there are eight numbers a b c d e f g h so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 eight numbers in the first part it gives you the average of first three numbers so n equal to 3 their average is 80 let's say this is 80 and here the average of last uh, four numbers so n equal to 4 and average equal to 70 and also they will give you the average of all the numbers so n equal to 8 and their average is equal to uh, let's say 60 whatever hmm. whatever is the situation in that in this case there is no overlap if you see here it is this and here the last four numbers is this and this one number is not touched even so how can this question be solved this question and do you think that this question cannot be solved this question can be solved if you analyze the same way fourth number can be found out but in this case you apply this small uh, apply uh, you do not apply this formula like small plus small small plus small minus big this is this will not work here what will work here just exactly the reverse of it so big minus small plus small this is how you will work in case there is no overlap in in case there is overlap small plus small minus big and in case there is no overlap that means big minus small plus small so small plus small is in bracket remember that first you find the both the small then add it up then subtract it from big and remember what is small small is the sum of numbers from the first small section the second small means sum of all the numbers in the second small section and big means sum of all the numbers this is how it works but if i tell you another situation like this how will you deal with it so i mean i'm i'm explaining all these situations so that you will have a clear idea about what kind of questions can come and uh, how will you tackle with this for example if i say there are nine numbers one two three four five six seven eight nine there are nine numbers and i give you the first three numbers uh, uh, n equal to three and its average is 20. and i also give you the sum the, the information about last four numbers n equal to four average equal to 60 and uh, of course I will give you information about all the numbers so I will say that n equal to 9 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 of course 9 numbers and average equal to let's say 80 now if you see that there are two numbers in which there is no overlap in this case you can find the sum of these two numbers like uh, let's say a b c d e f g h i you can find d plus e by applying this big minus small minus small technique you apply this technique big minus small minus small in this case d plus e can be found out but to find d individually this is impossible to find the value of e individually this is impossible but d plus e you can find by using big minus small minus small so in case of intermediate numbers they will either leave you in two situations where there will be overlap in case of overlap you will apply this formula big uh, small sorry in case of overlap small plus small small plus small minus big in in other case they can they can leave you with uh, with no overlap A situation like this when there is no overlap you will write big minus small minus small and in case there is there are two numbers involved where there is overlap or there is no overlap you cannot find individually those numbers rather you will find the sum of these numbers this is how this mathematics is done and be prepared for this type though this type is not a, one of the most important types of average but you should know every every part of this and how to deal with this type of questions and how to find what is asked in this question so see you in the next video to learn more about different types and let's say uh, let's see if you can understand all see you soon in the next video